Hello well guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is Dimitri. Today we're going to be working with link. Uh, we're going to use query syntax versus method syntax. So I'm just going to show you an example with those uh, two scenarios. So in this case, I have a string array. Uh, it basically has a few colors. So red, white, and black. So what I'm going to do here with the query syntax is I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call it all colors. And I'm going to say, okay, I want this to be equal to my query syntax. So let's start with the query syntax. So I'm going to say from C in my array, which is color. Array, so from C in color, this could be anything from D, from F. So I'm going to say from C in color, I want to select C. So that's basically going to select those values, but actually need to print those out. I need to iterate through those values. So if I iterate to those values, I'm going to use it for each. I'm going to say for each var i in my all colors, this new variable that is holding whatever I have here on the query and not this one, okay? So for each variable i in all colors, I want to print those values. So I want to print my i value. So this I is going to represent every single of these values, which is red, white, and black. All right, so that's perfect. So I'm just gonna run this just to show that it's working. So I got the red, white, and black. All right, perfect. All right, now I'm going to do something more complicated. So I'm going to add a where condition here. So I'm going to select something where C is equal to, let's say, a red. Okay, so red is one of the uh, colors that I have in this array. So now I have a condition here. So this is supposed to give me only the red color, right? So if I run this program, I'm going to have my red color. That's it. So I'm going to do exactly the same, but with a different type of syntax, which is called the method syntax. In this case, I'm going to create an enumerable of type string, right? Because we're talking about strings. So colors in this case, I have strings. And I'm going to give it a name as well. So I'm going to say all colors. Two, all right, so all colors two is different than this one, all right? And this is going to be equal to, because I can use an I enumerable here, I'll be able to iterate through the values of this color array. So I'm gonna call this color array, and then I'm going to be able to call methods on this array, so color, here I can say, okay, I want colors where, so this is a method, this is an extension method, right? So now I can actually apply a condition to this array. So I'm going to say where, and here is where I'm going to use a lambda expression. So I'm going to say, okay, where C goes to C, and this C, I want to be red. I want it to be red, so that's pretty much the whole condition because I want to do the same that I have here. Okay, so red and red. So I'm basically doing exactly the same, but here I'm using the query syntax, and here I, I'm using the method syntax. So we're almost done. What I need to do here is the same procedure. So I have to iterate through those values. So I have to create it for each, right? So exactly the same. So I can say for each variable, let's call it C in my 
all colors too. Not this one, remember? Because that's the new one that I created. So all colors too. So from this new uh, enumerable interface, I want to also right line my C. So that's basically, uh, we're gonna have the same result here. So I'm gonna have a red color here and I'm gonna have a red color here as well. So let me just print something here so we can take a look at the result in a better way. So if I hit Control F5, I'm going to have a red here from the query syntax and a red here from the method syntax. So that's basically, um, it's basically working. So let's just try a different value just to test it out. So I'm going to say Y here. And here the condition is where my C is Y. So we should have exactly the same result if we press Ctrl F5. We're going to have white and white. So that's basically it. Now it's working. So that's uh, basically a difference between the query syntax and the method syntax uh, when you guys are using link to um, work with values on uh, collections pretty much. So here the where only the it's not the only method you can have order by as well. You can have order by descending. You have uh, multiple methods to do that. So here we use the where, okay? So where, and then we got the Lambda expression that represents here the condition that I want, which was equal to red or equal to white. So that's basically it for today. Don't remember. Oh, okay, you gotta remember to close this. And you gotta remember to iterate through those values. All right, so uh, that's pretty much everything for today, guys. I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you in the next video.